Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Warramai First Nations people, the traditional custodians of the land on which these videos are made, and welcome to you, your guides, my guides, and the universal energies. What I want to have a look at in this particular reading is the uh, Republican Vice President position. Entertainment only. It is ramping up to be a very important position. There's a lot that are... Uh, uh, fighting for this particular position. Um, I'm not sure how it works, but if Trump drops out of the presidential race prior to the election, uh, does the vice president step up? So I want to have a quick look at the some of the front runners, and I'll just throw a couple of cards each. Uh, now, he has to name his vice president uh, by the RNC convention, which is mid-July, 15th to the 18th of July. Front runners are the likes of Elise Steph Stefanik, uh, Christy Nome, Rick Scott, Nikki Haley, Doug Bergham, Ben Carson, you name them. Uh, and it's what's happening. I'm, I'm, I know uh, Kerry Lake and Ron DeSantis are uh, throwing themselves in the mix too, but I don't feel those two are contenders at all. Um, what I what I've read before, and what I really feel is that um, uh, Trump has promised the vice presidency to many, uh, and he's basically playing them off each other and saying prove it. So Elise Stefanik has come out overnight, and she has um, filed an ethics complaint against Jack Smith. Uh, I don't think this is actually against Jack Smith at, at all. This is very much a uh, show and tell for Trump to say, see what I can do, look at me, look at me. Uh, and it's almost like a knee-jerk response to uh, Christy Noam, a uh, book coming out in regards to, see, I'm prepared to kill for you. Oh. You know, I'm ruthless enough to do what needs to be done. So Elise Stefanik's come out saying, no, I'm more ruthless than you. Um, you've got Rick Scott, who is, I'm just going to say, I'm pretty sure he's uh, LGBTQI, has come out. Uh, he's got himself engaged uh, to, to um, theoretically get married. I don't see the wedding actually going ahead if it hasn't already. Um to say, yes, see, look, I'm a contender too. Ben Carson is, I know Linda G sees Ben Carson as a contender. Uh, he's uh, very much a wet paper bag in the background, but, you know, he appeals to a certain element. I did get a while back that he was going to offer it to, um, what's her name, Guilfoyle, uh, Kimberly Guilfoyle, um, Junior's uh, Mrs., because he, being the mob boss that he is, he wants to keep it in the family. Nikki Haley's got the money. Uh, Doug Bergham, yeah, I'm not feeling terribly. He's the North Dakota governor. Ah, uh, just... <laughs> Let's have a look. I'll throw a couple of cards on each of them and just see where they go. So start with Elise Stefanik. Elise Stefanik. Show me. Is Elise Stefanik going? Using my Gilded Terra Royale, is Elise Stefanik going to be Trump's VP? Come on down, let's have a look. That's her plan. There's Trump. World card. Okay. Sword of Truth coming for her. Endings. Significant ending of a cycle, sort of truth being drawn for her. Oh, she may be. Contracts and agreements in discussions. Shining the light on the snake and the path. Isolation. Money trail. Money. Big message coming for her. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, but she might be knocked out because of poor choices. There might be a court case against Elise Stefanik with some money laundering or something here, money changing hands, where she's going to find herself entrapped and having to defend herself, some lies, entrapped, full exposure about money. I keep going. Burden. Burden in the messaging, secrets trying to keep hidden, 
and tower moments. So she's in the mix. Wonder whether that's why she wants to partially why she um, filed. Um, I'm thinking for at least Stefanik that uh, there might be some. Trump's looking to see who can bring money in for starters. I think she's going to get in some legal trouble there uh, that's going to put it out of contention. So let's have I mean, he's promised it to all of them. Let's have a look. Christy Noam, will she be? Christy Noam, the trumps. Will he choose her as his VP? Come on down. He would like a woman, but he hates women. Um, okay, page of wands. She's putting the messaging out there. King of Cups, seen and heard. Emotionally mature. It's also my Biden administration, my DOJ, my IRS. And being seen and heard. No, I'm going to say no. Five of wands. Uh, she's going to bring too much contention. She may even face a prosecution uh, that's going to, again, be burdensome. What have we got on the base? We've got nine of pentacles, um, the independent woman not listening. Find herself strung up, anxiety, manipulation, downfall. So now I'm going to say no to um, Christy Noam as well. Um, I think it's more about the messaging that she's putting out there and she may face a uh, animal cruelty charge or something along those lines. Um, there's a legal case coming for her as well or a prosecution of some sort, um, but the messaging that she's putting out there Misses its mark completely. So let's have a look at Rick Scott. African American, very outspoken. He's a senator at the moment. Um, I'll, I'll put it out there. I'm pretty sure he's uh, LGBTQI, but he's gotten engaged under pressure. Let's have a look at Rick Scott. Does Rick Scott have a chance? of the VP position. I don't even know that Trump's going to make it to the conference. Is that so who would step up? Scott. No, 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 no. Significant ending, new beginning, seen and heard for who he truly is. Um, I mean, I know technically there's a yes cards. Um, I'm getting no. Uh, Trump actually wants a woman. So, no, he's going to find himself. You know what? I'm going to read this one differently because I was thinking about is Trump going to make it to the conference itself? And I'm wondering if this is a big no. Information being brought forward about ill health, the self-sabotage, the ship coming in and an ending to Trump, walking away emotionally and and into the truth about his intellect. Okay, I'm going off on a completely different tangent here, so I shall ask the question specifically. Sorry, I'm I'm going to change direction here. I do apologise, because I was going to run through all of them. But let's have a look. Is Trump actually going to make it? Is Trump's health going to make it to the RNC convention. Is Trump's house going to make it to the RNC convention? Because otherwise the VP pick is, is just a non-starter. I wonder why that's why I'm feeling very blasé about the VP pick. Is Trump's house 
going to make it? I mean, we're talking six weeks' time. Is Trump's health going to make it to the RNC convention? You want that one? Okay. Tangent. Oh! Restricted. Mentally restricted. Restricted within his own body. <clears throat> Ten of Wands. Challenged by the burden of the messaging coming out that it may be for the RN, uh, RNC. A significant burden about, well, end of a cycle, what next? Foundation, message coming forward in regards to ask, complete another downfall. Now I'm asking if he's going to make it to the six weeks. I don't know that he will. Mental downfall and then the RNC having to bring forward completely new plans. They're going to find themselves trapped by the path that they went down and find themselves fully exposed as a message is brought forward about the health. Judgment moment. Having to move forward. Slow and steady progress forward. Who can bring the money in? What next? An inspirational female and significant ending new beginning. Um, okay, the devil is going to be stopped. Wow. Okay, well, I might look at this a little bit differently there. I honestly, going out right out on a limb here, I don't know that Trump is going to make it to the RNC convention, which means this promise of a vice president is a totally irrelevant question. Okay, can I ask this? If Trump doesn't make it to the RNC convention, now remembering we did, what was it in Pennsylvania? Um, I maybe have the wrong state. Nikki Haley was pulled out of the race, got 140,000 votes for presidential position. Uh, I suspect he's still getting money come in. Show me. Show me. Is Nikki Haley going to step up into presidential position? Because the RNC convention is, you know, when it all officially, officially, so we've got the Biden administration, but an emotional maturity here, bringing forth a new offer. The, the diplomat, the um, negotiator with his offer here. And loss. In the face of loss. Wow. Significant ending of a cycle and a new beginning in the past. Past. The emotional past is in the past. Complete and utter downfall. Intellectual downfall. So this is the energies of, of bringing this forward. And infighting do not. Be surprised if the RNC convention turns into a real S fight as secrets are brought to the surface and, and revealed and lunacy perhaps. Oh no, I'm just getting secrets brought to the surface. The cycle that will be changed is what I'm getting when I look at that card there. Okay, this has gone down a bit of a something out completely out of left field internally that is going to force these wheels to turn. Secrets behind the scenes being brought forward but powerful feminine energy. Truth being brought forward. 
justice, significant ending and beginning of the devil. And then we have balance and moderation. And a choice needs to be made about which path forward. And then a plan coming to fruition, the ship being brought into harbour in response to the government. A decision that needs to be made, difficult decision about this new beginning. Um, okay, that went somewhere for part of me, completely where I didn't expect. Actions also having consequences in light of this truth that is brought forward. Sorry, messing up the light there. As it is an ending of this, this figure. Okay. I am going to, but yeah, in fighting, big in fighting at the RNC convention um, about who. I'm going to put this. I don't think he's going to make it. To the RNC convention. Man, I'm out on a limb today. Hopefully I'm not soaring myself off. But yeah, significant ending of a cycle, end of a chapter, new beginning. Trump ending. Tell me, is Is Trump going to make it to the RNC convention? Is Trump going to physically make it to the RNC convention? I know that one. Okay. Is Trump going to physically make it to the RNC convention? That was the high priestess. Spiritual. Secrets. Behind the scenes. Wisdom. Feminine wisdom. Is Trump going to make it to the RNC Convention? Actions having consequences. Justice weighing in the balance. I mean, they're both yes cards. Is he going to be, okay, I'll change that slightly. Is Trump going to be the presidential nominee at the RNC convention? Boy, oh boy, we're going down a rabbit hole here. Higher authorities, three, well, yes cards, but moving on, control, Look at these major arcana here. Yes, 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 but I'm getting intellectual information being brought forward. And then the birth of something significantly new on the base, full illumination, the turning of the cycle. A decision needs to be made to go forward. Judgment. Snake in the path. Look at these major arcana coming out. I am starting to wonder. Now I whether he will. There's something happening here that I don't know that so, yes, he will, I think, make it to the convention, but I don't know that he's going to be the president nominee. Is Trump going to be, sorry, the length of this, is Trump going to be, what started off as a quick throw on the VPs, it's taken me down a completely different path. Is Trump going to be, the nominee was just sloppy shuffling. Is Trump going to be the Republican at the RNC convention? Is Trump going to be? I know he's been de declared as such, I suspect, but he's going to be 
because I think it's the conventions where it becomes official, isn't it? Something along those lines. Queen of Pentacles. It's about um, nurturing and healing health. It can also be about information brought forward about domestic security. Information brought forward about his health that they're going to try and keep hidden with that Four of Pentacles. But intellectually, he's gone, moved on. And the truth of it is going to come out, going to be headline news. They'll have to make a decision because it can no longer be denied with the judgment card. Isolation, introspection, shining the light on the obstacle in the path. The birth of something significantly new with this full illumination in regards to the found that he, keeping his his health hidden, and here's the health event itself. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, we'll see how it plays. I am really. Started on the VP throw, but I don't. I'm feeling that the VP decision is going to be irrelevant by the time they get to the um, currency conference in mid July. I'm 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 getting that they're actually having to choose a presidential nominee at the conference. Um, it's going to be a health event. They're going to try and keep it hidden. They're trying to keep going to try and nurture him through. But at the conference itself, there's going to be no denying. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. That was a really bizarre reading. Okay, let me know what you think. Catch you later.